Well, and let's start with the New York Giants, who made news last week for changes made and to be made off the field. There's a change coming on the field that we didn't know about, we didn't expect, and the Giants are not out of it. They're not done. They're still in the thick of things by virtue of beating the Eagles on Sunday on Michael Strahan jersey retirement day, and they finally won a game on a day that they retired the jersey of one of their Super Bowl heroes. Mike Glennon is expected to start at Miami this weekend because Daniel Jones is week to week with an X strain. Ooh. Now, week to week is not good. Day to day is maybe he'll just miss a game. Right. Week to week means it's at least one. Pretty good chance it's going to be two. And who knows? Maybe it's going to be three. So it's Mike Glennon time in New York as Daniel Jones recovers from an injury that for as surprised as we were about Christian McCaffrey landing on injured reserve for the rest of the year because we weren't quite sure when he got injured right. against the Dolphins. I don't know when Mike Glennon got injured against the Eagles on Sunday. Uh, no, I mean, uh, I don't know either. I, I mean, I, I never saw, and of course, you know, I'm always watching the Giants out of the corner of my eye. Now, hey, it could have been right there. You know, the one thing I'll say, you know, of course, the, the Giants are offensively challenged. And because their offensive line's not good, they have to depend on Daniel Jones running the ball a lot. I mean, a lot. And those are some big hits. And he's taken a lot of big hits through the year. I mean, of course, we know he got knocked sideways in the Dallas game earlier in the season. Uh, so he's he would classify to me as one of the most beat up hit quarterbacks in football. Now, he's a really big human being, um, but uh, like. Yeah, I'm 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 a little surprised. It caught me off guard here too. But the good thing is they do got a Mike Lennon who's he's a capable backup. Bad thing is, you know, like you said, they're in a moment here where, hey, there's there's still a chance. I mean, they're still in this thing and have a somewhat favorable schedule to make a run if they get hot here. And that's what that's what also stinks, let alone this weekend, Mike, it's the Dolphins, and you would always want your quarterback out there against the Dolphins right now because the Dolphins' defense is on fire, and we know they're so complicated with the blitzes and the everybody at the line of scrimmage and drop out. We saw what they did to Lamar Jackson, right? Well, they've continued that, and they confused Cam Newton last week, and they're playing great ball right now, and for the Giants, that's where that stinks that they won't have a guy like Daniel Jones. Yeah, and... <sighs> Look, I don't want to turn this into a bash Mike Glennon fest, but you know, it, it, it kind of reminds me of the situation in Pittsburgh where Mason Rudolph is the backup to Ben Roethlisberger, and, and maybe, maybe there aren't enough good quarterbacks to go around. Because I don't regard Mike Glennon as guy that you can count on to come in and win a game or two for you in the event that your starter gets hurt. And we've known all along that Daniel Jones – has that willingness to run the football, yeah. has the ability to run the football, and does it in a way where he does absorb some hits. So you got to have a number two who can come in and make it happen. Maybe Mike Glennon can. Maybe he can. He was the starter at one point for the Buccaneers. He's bounced around plenty yep. since then. He right. was anointed in Chicago just before they drafted Mitchell Trubisky in 2017, ended up starting three or four games before they gave the ball to Trubisky four years ago. But just a guy, big, tall quarterback. Yeah. Some coaches don't. Parcells didn't like him above six five. That's yeah, for sure. Right. And uh, you know, I, I we got I the know. numbers here. He was sixteen for twenty five. 16 for 25 for 196 yards, a touchdown, and two picks when Daniel Jones yeah, left. Right. In week five, and Pete says, and I think I, I was talking six and twenty one career as a starter. So. Don't get your hopes up, Giants fans, that Mike Glennon's going to come in and turn this thing around. But, you know, we've seen crazier stuff. So I'm, I'm not going to dismiss it because the guy's no. still in the NFL. But I, I I just wonder why he's still in the NFL. Is well, that fair to say? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I understand. I do. I, I, I think maybe, like, you know, if I was going to push back on you, I'd go, that's a hair harsh. I think he's worthy of being in the NFL. Is he a top-end backup? No, to your point. I agree with that. I don't, th I don't think there's any doubt. But he's got experience. You said the size thing is real, you know, and he's he he can control the football. He throws a very pretty football. He's effortless in throwing the ball. And, you know, he, like you've talked about, been around a few offenses and knows how to play the game to a degree. Yeah, it's not going to be special. It's not. 
But, I, I mean, I'm not going to count the Giants out on this. I'm not. We saw them last year with Colt McCoy, you know, do some things and upset Seattle in Seattle. Their offense isn't great, so they have to play the game a certain way. You don't have Daniel Jones. It does stink because, yeah, Daniel Jones is more talented. And his, his legs are a legitimate threat to where defenses have to do certain things on certain downs and distances because you're worried about the quarterback run. I mean, we've seen him run for 60, 80-yard runs. I mean, he, he's a little more athletic than I think we all want to give him credit for. So that's where that stinks. But as far as, like, Glennon being overwhelmed by the situation, you know, overwhelmed by the Dolphins and what they do on the defensive side of the ball, there's some positives there. I mean, you know, he's played a lot. He'll understand what to do and how to orchestrate the plan off of that. But, yes, you know, to, to like to what you said, he's not going to make any highlight reel type of plays and carry the team through any moments here. You know, they're going to have to play an ugly brand of football, manage the offense, and hope their defense can give two of the Dolphins, you know, a tough time and try to win some low-scoring game. You know, that's what the Giants are basically at this point right now. I've been refreshing my memory yeah. on Mike Glennon, and he has two claims to NFL fame, one of which is that there was a period of time where there was a question as to whether he or Nick Foles looked more like Napoleon Dynamite, but that's <laughs> yeah, several that's years right. old. I do remember that. I do remember There's that. There's also, also, he's the answer to an important trivia question. Really? Hold on. I mean, Because he's the guy that a certain program chose over another guy – a decade ago to be its starting quarterback, causing that oh, guy yes, to right. transfer right. from NC State yes. to Wisconsin. And that guy's right. name is Russell Wilson. Yes, that's right. Think I, about that. that is, Tom O'Brien taking Mike Glennon over Russell Wilson. So maybe there is something to Mike Glennon that we're overlooking. Well, he, he's, he throws a beautiful football and a beautiful spiral. And of course, like you said, he's got a stat here that kind of stat here that kind of jumps out at you. But he's not overly athletic, and he's he can be, yeah, tall and skinny. Uh, but I do remember that. I do. I mean, if I remember correctly, you know, Tom O'Brien was not happy with the fact that Russell Wilson still wanted to play baseball, right? That was really the issue. And Russell still wanted to play a little. And I think he, you know, tried to corner Russell Wilson into, wait, okay, I'll give up baseball. I want to play football. And that didn't happen. And Russell said, see you later. So, uh, you're right. That is a very, very important trivia question because Russell Wilson went on to big things at Wisconsin and, and did pretty well there. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.